everyone it's Melissa today I'm going to do a collab video I'm very excited about it it is a summer essentials collab with my friend Marta Lorazeus she and I did this collab last summer and then we decided to do it again this summer um, we enjoyed it a lot we enjoyed getting to know each other better, better and we've talked back and forth over this past year so we decided to do it again so I hope you like it uh, I will, of course, link Marta's video below in her channel. Uh, be sure you go over there and subscribe. She is such a sweet lady, kind, good-hearted, wonderful. She's lost over 70 pounds, very motivated and motivating. Uh, she exercises, works out a whole lot, very healthy. She has practical advice about you know purses and her latest few were about her purses her fun uh, purses that she bought that didn't have to cost so much and uh, just she does it all with a sweetness and a beauty uh, she's a school teacher and a kindness that uh, that I really appreciate so make sure you go over and watch Marta's video and subscribe to her channel you won't be disappointed Okay, so I really thought about this because I mentioned so many things in the last video last year that I do during the summer. Some of them may overlap, but I tried to come up with a few different things, so I hope I did. Okay, so I made my list here, and uh, there are a few outfits I'm going to show, and I will do that last because I'll have to adjust the camera to do that, but I will. So the first one is, um, in no particular order, changing your perfume. I mentioned this a long time ago, but there is a website that I love to use, and it is called The Perfumed Court. Um, and at that white website, because I know because I know in the summertime we like to maybe lighten up our perfumes, change them, uh, try different ones that maybe are launched in the summer. And this is a great way to try them. You can get, they, they have the big bottles of the perfume and so they will decant them for you so you can try them all different sizes. Uh, different sizes like that so you can really really get an idea of what you want do they label it and everything so that you'll know exactly what you're using but uh, anytime I see a scent that somebody mentions on YouTube uh, that I think I might want to try I go to the perfume court and see if they have it in nine times out of ten they will and then I will go ahead and you know have them decant some for me you can do you can even get like a, a, a roll on if you want to get a larger size but I usually get a smaller size to see what I think of it it's just so much better than going out and buying it you can work for a few days because sometimes I will like a perfume but after I wear it for a few days, it just seems like it's really not the right perfume for me. So the perfume court is something I really enjoy when I'm when the seasons change and I'm reevaluating what perfume I might want to use. Okay, the next one is uh, I've talked about this body wash before. I've always been a Bath and Body Works girl and uh, just love their body washes. But lately, I have been using this Caress Evenly Gorgeous. And I can't remember if I heard about it from Ellis for Living or someone else, so I apologize if it was the someone else. But um, it smells wonderful. I use it. I used it all winter, and I'm continuing on this summer. What I like about it is I use it with these little gloves, and I, these are the best exfoliating gloves. The best. I think they have them on. I always got them from the body shop, and they're about five dollars, and I'd buy like a year's supply of them. I think you can get them on Amazon now too for about the same price and probably if you, I'm not sure if it's prime or not but I'll look and see but uh, I use these together and it really really has made a difference um, helping even my skin and getting rid of the oh all that dead skin you know left over from the winter time and the the spots helping to even out the spots because it has little beads in it you know it's a little scrub but uh, you know it smells really good at the same time um, also with that I always put on after I take my shower with that body scrub I put on my Glytone exfoliating body lotion your skin's gonna be showing more in the summertime you want to even those spots out you know you want help with the crepey skin that you get and this really really does make a difference it's strong you may not be able to use it every day and make sure you use a sunscreen over it some strong good pH glycolic acid so it does a good job 
And speaking of sunscreen, of course in the summertime, some sunscreen is a necessity. I usually use the dry touch. I like something that dries, it goes on my skin. This is for my body. I use the dry touch from uh, Neutrogena. The 100, it's just the 100 plus. I don't know if it matters going that high or not. Uh, on my arms and chest, I will use the Abaji Tinted. It's expensive or more expensive. So I just tend to use small amounts of it. I have the cool tint. They, I like the warm tint, but they ran out of it. Uh, where I usually get it, so I've gone to the cool tint for now, and I really can't tell a lot of difference. They both do a good job and just help even out your skin on your chest and maybe on your arms. And when I'm uh, out, I keep this in my purse all the time. It's the Neutrogena, it's a roll on, like a roll on deodorant, like this, and you do it up and you can just roll it over your face. And, and if I'm out in the sun, I don't like to be out in the sun, but if I'm out in the sun, like, uh, you know, going to a ball game or something, or I'll be sitting on the sun, boy, I'm just doing this all over my makeup. I, I put it on top of my makeup, on my neck and my chest. I don't care. I keep it with me and roll it on all the time. Because I make sure that I want to be protected. And, of course, always put it on your face, especially if you use, you know, uh, exfoliators or acids or retin-A, anything like that, because you've got that new skin underneath after it gets the old skin off and it's gonna sunburn very easily. So keep it smothered. That's why I like this roll-on. I just smother myself all the time. Like I said, I don't care if it messes up my makeup or not. I'm smothering it on. It's a 70 SPF. So I like that a lot. Keep it, always keep it in my purse. Okay, the next thing is skincare. I think summer, is a good time to reevaluate your skin, reevaluate your skincare, and I think, in some instances, it's probably vital and necessary. If you are a person that gets out in the sun a lot, if you're going to the beach and you're going to be laying out, you really need to be careful. Reevaluate any retin A you're using, any retinols you're using, uh, vitamin C. Uh, serums that you're using, anything like that that is going to cause any kind of exfoliation. Like I said before, it is going to uh, leave your skin, you know, with the more baby skin underneath, but boy, that will really, really sunburn and cause some damage. So if you're going to the beach, you may, and you use retin-A, you may want to cut it out a week before and just not use it during that time. Um, you may want to go down to just a couple of times a week just to, just to kind of lighten up a little bit. But really, when you're using these stronger products, really be careful being out in the sun. It, they, they tell you that, you read it all the time, it really is true. It's better to not use it than to get a bad burn from using it. That is probably the best advice I could give. This kind of leads into another thing, which is uh, foundation. In the winter time, I know that most people tend to wear a foundation with a little more oil in it and uh, a little bit more moisturizing. In the summertime, that sometimes just won't work, especially if you have a tendency to break down like in your T-zone or really all over your skin, which is what I tend to do. So, uh, reevaluating your, your foundation, maybe going to a mineral foundation. I have been using this summer a lot of the uh, Bare Minerals, I did a video on it. Uh, it works real well for me in the summertime. It lasts all day because in this heat in the south, by the time one o'clock comes around, I'm usually needing to touch up again. Plus it's got a tad bit of sunscreen in it, like 15, something like that. Yeah, 15. Helps a little bit, not if you're going to be out in the sun, but it might help a little bit. But using a mineral powder or using a lighter foundation or going to one with less oil in it is, uh, is really essential for me. I have to kind of reevaluate everything. Okay, the next one is self-tanners. I don't usually self-tan anything but my legs. And I have a hard time finding something that looks right on me. It either looks too orange or too gray or brings out some spots, freckles that I have on my legs. So this year I tried, I always tried, did the Nivea and was always real pleased with it. It was a gradual tanner, but uh, I just can't find it very much anymore. I, I've run out of it and I haven't been able to find it anymore. So I found out about this, I think maybe from Elle also or Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. It's the Jergens Natural Glow. It is the three days to glow one. And uh, 
I really like this. It makes a nice tan on my legs. It doesn't bring out the spots too much. It's, it's, it says gradual, or I feel like it's gradual, but I mean, it starts having color right away. So I'll put it on and in no time at all, it starts, you know, starts giving me some color. So that is, this is a good one. I can remain, I recommend it. I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with it. I hope they don't discontinue it because they did. I loved that Nivea. It was so good, but this is really good too. I like it. Uh, and it, uh, it gives you a tan pretty fast. Okay, I changed my lipstick color so you could see this one. Uh, I like the summertime to go sometimes to a pink lipstick, and I really, really like this one. It's Revlon. It's been around forever. Pink in the afternoon. My friend Karen sent me an email and told me about it, and boy, she was right. It is a beautiful color. Uh, like I said, I changed it from my Poison Nectar over. I had on my Poison Nectar earlier, and I changed it over to this, the pink in the afternoon really really like this it's a beautiful pink lipstick um okay getting to clothes and clothes upkeep uh summer to me summer clothes to me i don't know about you but it seems like they have to be ironed more and i'm not i'm just not one to iron so this little steamer is just the thing for me to have it's called the little steamer <laughs> go mini i get it from amazon oh, it's, it is on both sides you put some water in it Turn it on, it heats up, it steams. You can hang up your clothes and just zip up and down on them. And it just, it just does the trick. It does a really good job because I'm just, like I said, I'm not going to be ironing. I'm just not. My ironing days are over with, I think, unless I absolutely have to. But this does a really good job. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the new clothes that I have gotten. And three of them, I got two pairs of shorts and a little skirt for summer. Uh, that I heard about on, um, I watched Angie's video, Angie Hot and Flashy, and she showed them. They are from The Loft, and they're two pairs of uh, Riviera shorts, the six inch inseam, and then uh, a bright yellow skirt, and, and all of it came from The Loft, and I've been really wearing the heck out of them and really tickled, so I'm gonna show you the shorts now. And also, I got a really cute pair of cutoffs from cut cut from the cloth too. And just you know, in the summertime, by the time July hits, it is just so hot here. Shorts are a staple in the South, and pretty much any age wears them. I see every every age from babies all the way up to 100 year old people wearing shorts and little mini skirts too. So I'm gonna show you what I bought inspired from Angie. Okay, these, and I just got on some Haviana flip flops. But uh, this is the first pair of shorts. They're the six inch Riviera and Olive. Very simple. Just a little shirt tucked in. They're really comfortable, very cool. Um, very, very, just real comfortable. Easy to take care of, wash, hang up to dry, go. Very, very, very comfortable. Okay, and I'll show you the next pair. They are in coral. Same thing, since six inch Riviera. Easy to take care of, very comfortable. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the skirt that I got. Okay, and here's the little yellow skirt that she showed too. I love this skirt. It is so comfortable and so cool. Love the bright color. It makes me happy and uh, just reminds me of summertime. Okay, I'm gonna show you the cutoffs now. Okay, these are the cutoffs. They are cut from the cloth. Best cutoffs I've ever worn. They are so comfortable, so easy to wear. I absolutely love them. I like how distressed they are. It looks like I've taken a pair of jeans and cut them off. I, I've cut off a pair of jeans and distressed them, but I wasn't able to distress them as well as these are. So these are, are some that's just going to last me year after year here wearing where it's so hot. And uh, it's just going to be like my summertime jeans. I, I really, really like these, these uh, cut from the cloth shorts a whole lot. 
they're so comfortable. Okay, that is it. I really appreciate uh, y'all watching. Be sure you check out Marta's channel. Marta and I both, Marta lives in Florida. I forgot to mention this. Marta lives in Florida and I live in Tennessee. And just the kind of heat that we have down here, especially what she has down in Florida, it's just hot, it's humid, it's close, it's like water's in the air. So you, you try to do everything you can to stay looking and feeling as good as you can with this kind of heat. Uh, I just thank you, Marta, for doing this with me. It was so much fun. I had a really good time, and be sure you watch her channel and watch her video. So thank you so much for watching. I am very grateful, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.